Hello dear students, we are going to discuss in INR 17 a very important PYQ cytomegalovirus. So what is cytomegalovirus? It is the most common cause of congenital infection. Right, so amongst the congenital infection, this is the most common virus which is causing the infection. And what will be the maximum risk of the transmission time? So risk of transmission will be maximum during the third trimester of the pregnancy. Remember, during the third trimester of the pregnancy. And the most important thing, the majority of the patient means 90% of the patients are asymptomatic. So remember 90% of the patients are asymptomatic. So majority presentation is asymptomatic. And their symptoms we can remember them by a distinguishing triad which is the name mnemonic name is mnemonic itself. Right, CMV. C is chorioretinitis which will be showing you pizza pie like fundus. So now you can see this is the chorioretinitis which is looking like a pizza pie. Now you can see looking like a pizza pie because of the arterial inflammation in the fundus. You can see there is a pizza pie. So the typical pizza pie appearance is seen in CMV chorioretinitis. So number one is chorioretinitis. Number two is microcephaly, small head and blueberry muffin rashes. So you can see small head microcephaly and this is the blueberry muffin rashes. Third is periventricular calcification. If you look at the CT scan around the ventricle, these are the ventricles and you can see around the ventricles, this is the whitish area which is corresponding to the periventricular calcification, right? So these are periventricular calcification, right? So what we have learned that CMV retinitis, chorioretinitis, then we have seen microcephaly, blueberry muffin rashes and congenital uh, same we will be also having periventricular calcification so these are the characteristic feature and remember the most common long term sequelae is the deafness and that will be a sensory neural deafness and this is a very important PYQ remember this is a very very important PYQ in exam right so asymptomatic long term sequelae is sensory neural hearing loss deafness these are all the important MCQs which we should remember for our exam so majority of the patient are asymptomatic 90% and what is the most common long term sequelae is the deafness. Obviously pizza pie fundus, chorioretinitis is a finding of cytomegalovirus, periventricular calcification is characteristic feature right all these are important points. So now uh, for the diagnosis what we can do for diagnosis we can do the virus isolation and culture also the so virus isolation and culture can be done. And on histopathological examination, what we will find? We will see a large cell. See the name itself is calling cytomegalovirus. So cell will become large and the intranuclear basophilic inclusion will be giving them a owl eye appearance as you can see here CMV histopathology. Right, so CMV histopathology, what we are seeing, large size cell. So if you see the surrounding cells are looking smaller, surrounding cells, these are normal cells, right, which are looking smaller. But when you compare some cells, they are very large, they are very large. And in that nucleus, you can see the basophilic nucleoli is present, Bas basophilic viral inclusion is present, not nucleoli. It's a basophilic viral inclusion which is present. So these are the features which resemble like a owl eye inclusions right so they may have a intracytoplasmic inclusion also sometime examiner asks in cmv what is the inclusion basophilic inclusion in the nucleus also basophilic inclusion in the cytoplasm and this basophilic viral inclusion into the nuclei giving them owl eye appearance this is diagnostic finding on histopathology right and other test we can use is cmv pp65 antigen test which will detect the CMV antigen PP65 within the peripheral blood leukocytes, right? Another important and most commonly used test, remember this is the line of Harrison, most commonly used test will be the quantitative nucleic acid testing for the CMV by polymerase chain reaction. This is the most commonly used test. And what will be the treatment for such kind of infection? That antiviral gancyclovir, valgancyclovir or foscarnet can be used for the treatment right so keep learning and enjoy revising this thing best wishes for your exams